Hey guys, Christy with Christy's Collections. I wanted to do a little video today. Um, it's kind of a sidebar to something I mentioned in one of my other videos. This is my little treasure box. This is where I keep um, all things that I found on the ground, like the little gold uh, um, bracelet that I just found the other day. Um, and also any old jewelry that I don't wear anymore that's... Um, made of precious metals, gold, silver, things like that. So let's take a look inside. I'm going to show you the stuff that I found on the ground as I've been walking. I'm going to show you that first. All right, hold on. Okay, so here is the pieces of that bracelet that I found the other day. I'm guessing it's a bracelet or a small um, necklace. It's all clumped up and squished, so it's really hard to tell. Does say 10k on there i'm going to get my magnifying out magnifying glass out and take a photo um of the clasp to add to the end of the video all right and here's an earring gold earring that i found in a parking lot um it says kimberly on it it's also 10k with a sort of unusual triangle next to it i'll get a photo of that as well here is a sterling hoop. I think it's sterling. 925, and it looks like an LA afterwards. I'm not sure. I'll get a photo of that as well. Here is um, a charm for a necklace. It's marked 925. You can see that there. Pretty purple stone in there. Not sure if it's real or not. This, I believe, was an earring. Looks like an opal in there. It's cracked. It's got some dirt in it. Some little stones. And then it's marked 10K in the back here. You can't see it because I'm shaking. Here is a little charm. Marked 925. It's got some stones there. Inside the heart. And then the front to an earring the little um peg popped off but it is marked on the side somewhere with 925 there it is right there so i don't know if the stone is a cubic zirconium or whatnot i'll try to get some pictures close-up pictures of those things and then i've got some other finds that aren't marked that are interesting i think give me just a minute Okay, so here's the group of things that I found that aren't marked with anything, but I still like to keep them. This um, is a lock. A little, I don't know. I think I looked it up and it looks like it goes to a purse or a, a carrying bag. It says Furla made in Italy. It's quite heavy. I like it. And then the next day in the same area I found this. It's the same color but it's not marked so I'm not sure if it was from the same thing or I just happened to find two things that look alike sort of in the same area on two different days. Yeah there's no markings there. Found this penny with a heart in it. Thought that was cute. Um, here's a little charm. I can't find any markings on it. Oh, come on. Maybe I should have used black for the background color. No. I don't know. I can't get anything to focus today. That sucks. I'll put a picture up of it. Um, another earring stud. It's not marked. I believe this was a charm. It looks like there's some um, gold on the side of it. Uh, but it's been run over and destroyed. It looks like it was made of lead underneath there. It's heavy. I don't know. Um, this I thought was silver. It is marked. But it does not say 925. It says a bunch of letters. And I'm going to get a picture of that. Maybe y'all can help me decode it. This looked like gold. But there's no markings, and I'm not even sure what it is. Um, another earring. 
that's not marked with anything, but it's it's got a bunch of green built up gunk in there. I'll get a picture of it. Um, I don't know if this went to an earring or maybe it was put onto some clothes. I don't know. Another earring that's marked with something, but I can't tell what it is. Doesn't even look like it makes any sense. I'll get a picture of it. And then I believe this is just a little brass piece of something that I found. So I keep all those just because they're interesting. And then I also found, I showed you that already, this, um, my first time metal detecting actually. When I got my little crappy metal detector. Went out to a park and found this. It has the twin towers on it. I believe that's what that is. And the Statue of Liberty, her little um, flame is knocked off. It says New York. I believe it's made of copper. It's It's got some weight to it. I thought that was pretty cool. I kept that. Okay, guys. So that is my treasure box contents stuff I like to keep in my little treasure box. I'll get some photos, some um, close-up shots of those things, and post the pictures after this. Maybe you can help me identify some of this stuff. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. See you later. I almost forgot to show you guys this. Uh, this is just a little jar that I keep some of. Sometimes when I find those earrings and I don't know if they're real or fake. Let me get this off. I'll um, take the the jewels out of there and keep them in this jar just because I like the way they look. Um, I thought about having some of, some of them tested to find out what they are. I mean, they could be cubic zirconium. That's still worth a little bit, I think. Um, I'm going to lose focus now. So there's three of those in there um, from three different earrings that I had found over the years. This is what I wanted to show you here. This came from a family vacation I took with my Nana, if she's watching. Um, and we were going through, I don't remember if it was one of the Carolinas, Georgia, maybe even Tennessee. It's not going to focus. Let me try to get it focused. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> we stopped on a little roadside stand where you paid a little fee and then you got to pan for gold. They had a little system set up. Um, a little trough, I guess you would call it. I'm not sure. Uh, working its way down from the side of a mountain, as I remember it. Um, and you got to pan for gold, and you got to keep what you found. So this is what I found and combined with, I believe, my sister's as well, because she was young at the time and didn't really have any interest in it. So... I'm not positive that it's real gold. I'm not. But I did a little research about panning up in those areas. And it seems like it might be real. I don't know. What do you guys think? If it'll focus in on. No. There we go. Well, that's it's not perfect, but it's better. Um... So I'm not sure if it's real or not. I'd like to think that it is, but I do not know. It's it's light. I haven't tried bending it yet. I'm scared to. Uh, I don't want to break it. Even though gold, I know, is supposed to be soft and malleable. I just I don't want to. Come on, focus one last time for me, and I swear we'll be done. Get a magnifying glass on it. So there it is. I'm not sure if you can tell from here whether it's real or not. I would love to know. I guess I could always take it into a jeweler or something and get it checked out. Alright, I'll get the pictures up for you guys. Thanks for watching.